Hurricane Sandy devastated my family, y'all. We lost everything. All our food is lost. We have no phones. We have no heat. My home was destroyed. I still get sad when I think about it. I do. When we got up that morning after the storm, I came out of the house and I was walking around. People were like dazed and confused. Nobody knew where to go. And I said, well, you know, let me call our um, president and see if he'll let us open the library. And from the time we opened our doors on that day, we just had just a constant influx of people. After putting out the word that we were going to try to take food and supplies out to Rockaway, we had a tremendous outpouring of support. There were so many great people. They were coming in with truckloads of supplies. When we got there, Jen Manley and Sharon Anderson had already organized their own distribution of food and were giving out information to people. So we kind of fed into that. I went to the Far Rockaway Library. There they gave, um, they distributed food, diapers, generators, toiletries for women, shoes, clothing, flashlights, bleach. People were very generous. Then New York Cares brought us in like 2,000 brand new coats. We had volunteers and library staff waiting to help people shop for what would be a winter coat at a time in their lives when they had lost almost everything. Across the Rockaways, library staff provided critical, authoritative information, directing people on where to find emergency services, where to vote, what to do about children going to school, and so much more. The library worked closely with partners in government, the mayor's office, city, state, and federal officials to start the community on the road to recovery. So when the storm happened in our own backyard in New York, we knew that we had to do something to respond. I started talking to various nonprofits. They recommended the Queens Library. So I then was able to connect with Tom Galante. I spoke to them um, in an evening, and by the next morning I got a phone call that they had come up come up with a grant of $175,000. The people at Queen's Library will have picked up the phone, gotten us ready to go before some people have even returned my email. They were really responsive. Not only was Queen's Library providing so many services for the people in the Rockaways, but it was really serving as a, a connector between all of the other small community-based organizations that were working in the Rockaways I wasn't surprised that everybody showed up here wanting to know what to do after Sandy. Everything that we did was something that we do day in and day out, which is to help people pull themselves up and improve their lives. And sometimes you need to get them a coat before they can sit and read. We have a program that we're going to have here called Workforce One that's going to assist people to get jobs. Home improvement, contractor training courses. GED programs. I got my CPR training. My husband took a, um, a business course. My sons did the OSHAs. So it's a lot of things that the library have now that I'm taking advantage of, <laughs> and so is my family. The real strength of Queen's Library is it's a library of the future and really serve as, as a, a gathering, a community space for many, many people. Queen's Library currently delivers huge volumes of programs in every community in the borough. But through all of this, through Sandy, pre-Sandy, post-Sandy, we've been expanding services. Our programs are at the highest levels ever through great support from our private donors and through grants that we've been able to secure from many friends and partners who help us out every day. We felt very confident in the ability of Queen's Library to work with us and provide that, that on-the-street resource that we at Bank of America could not provide, but we could provide the funding to get it done. One of the most important things I learned from this was just how important a library can be for a community, not just in the obvious that I think most people associate with libraries, but being a community center, providing services, and really giving people hope.